Tonight, Mexico is detaining hundreds of Central American migrants in the largest ever single raid on a caravan since the groups began passing through last year. Now, the crackdown comes amid mounting frustration, get this, among some Mexican citizens who blame their own liberal president for not doing more to prevent the influx of Central Americans in the first place. They say it's contributing to increased crime and poverty in Mexico. One Mexican resident saying, quote, it's really, really bad because they're pouring onto our land. They ask for money, and if you offer food, they don't want it. They want money, and sometimes you don't have any. Congressman Andy Biggs of Arizona is a member of the House Judiciary Committee who just returned from a trip to the southern border. Congressman, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks, Ed. Good to be with you. The irony of Mexican citizens saying, you know what? This is a problem. This is a big problem for Mexico that Central American migrants are passing through. Yeah, you know, they're seeing it on both ends of, the, of Mexico, down in Chiapas, and that's the, the area that you're talking about now. You've actually had one mayor declare his, his, his municipality uh, in a state of emergency, closing down shops, telling people to stay off the streets because there's some criminality coming up with some of this. Uh, that now the Mexican government is actually starting to enforce their law a little bit, but still the majority of the latest caravans are coming through. It's kind of the same thing you saw when... Uh, Tijuana, the mayor of Tijuana, said, mm -hmm. look, we can't, we can't even deal with this. He so said there was garbage piling up and all of the yeah. rest. Exactly. And so these people come in, they, they're begging, they leave this detritus of, of uh, trash behind them, uh, which is a problem in, in these cities and towns. But all in all, we need Mexico's help to control our mm -hmm. border, and they're not controlling their own. But, Congressman, we, as you know better than I do, uh, being there in Arizona, when illegals come from Central America, they go through Mexico, and the ones who make it across the border here into the United States, if people speak out in your state and other states and say, wait a second, they've become a problem, we want to make sure they're legal, um, there are issues now uh, with the money and, and who's paying for all of this, people are called racists. Are Mexicans yeah, who are I speaking out now, are they racist? No, heavens no, and nobody's really a racist for calling into question the, the desire to um, secure our national border. I mean, that's not a racist idea. That, that is just simply uh, uh, what is normal for a nation state is to protect its geographical boundaries. And we, and we let 1.2 million people into this country legally every year. Mm -hmm. it's, but, but we're going to apprehend about a million, Ed, a million we will catch and the, the estimate I've heard is that it's anywhere from two to three million who will get it here illegally. We won't know who they are. And right now, our facilities are overrun. The one I was at last week, they're sending people out within about a day and a half to two anywhere in the country. And this is Congressman. So they come over. Yeah, it's just yeah. amazing. Last point on this. Um, when people make it across illegally and the president says we need to crack down on it, we're told we're not a welcoming country if you want to crack down. Are the, are the Mexicans not welcoming? No, no, the Mexicans, uh, I mean, they've done the same thing we have. They provided incentives for people to come from the Northern Triangle states hmm. through their country by offering them asylum, basically, and work permits for a year. That's an incentive to come. They're not, they're not um, uh, being racist. They're not being anything other than a, a trying to, be, at least in some measure, yeah. make a nod toward being a, a rational nation state. All right, Congressman Andy Biggs, appreciate you coming in.